so that I can add it to the article. Fire oh. away. Ready? Yeah. Um, Albuquerque uh, does not have a transplant center. Many of our children require bone marrow or stem cell transplants. Uh, we send them to Colorado Children's Hospital in Denver because they, um, they are a, a great facility and also it's close to Albuquerque where families can go and visit. Yes. Uh, right now we have nine families from Albuquerque that are in Denver of children receiving bone marrow transplants. We visited the first part of November, um, our staff and, and took one of the doctors from UNM and, and they told us that we are, that our children are the only ones who receive this particular type of service. We have a partnership with the New Mexico Community Foundation. Um, they have a fund which is called the Bodie Fund. The grandparents of a young man named Bodie who had to leave New Mexico for a bone marrow transplant, um, saw the difficulties that families have. In an ideal situation, a family is gone for bone marrow transplant for 100 days. Oh, so, wow. That, and that's when all the stars align and everything is perfect. Um, normally, six months is the least amount of time that they're there. So the Bodhi Fund which we um, manage for them. Uh, we take the application from the families, uh, we pay their bills. It pays all of their expenses um, or up to $10,000 uh, so that their home is intact when they return. Rent, utilities, car payment, insurance, all of those things. When we visited um, the people in Denver, they said, only the families in New Mexico have this service from, from any type of fund. Since we have families that lose their homes, that lose their jobs, that lose their cars, because they cannot afford to pay the bills. We are so lucky to be able to provide that service for our families so that when they do go to Denver, they don't have to worry that when they come home, they're six yeah. months behind in their rent or they've been evicted. Um, so we're very grateful to the New Mexico Community Foundation and the Bodie Fund for allowing us or giving us the opportunity to provide this service for our families. Oh. And when they say, many people, they come from all other states to Denver and they say, nobody has this but New Mexico. So, and, and the social workers and the doctors who go to national conventions like the Pediatric Oncology Group or the Children's Oncology Group, they say, there's no children's cancer fund anyplace else. We've had families that have had to move to another state, you know, after their treatment or during their treatment and they'll call and they'll say, it's not the same here. There's no children's cancer fund. So, um, wow. so we're very, very, I mean, we're very lucky that, that we have this. Um, I wish I didn't have a job because that would mean that no more children got cancer. But, um, but it is such a privilege to be able to help families, to, um, to be able to ease the minds of parents, you know, and to make a child happy by giving them a simple little $10 toy. Wow. Privilege. The work is amazing. It, it is, and it is it is just the most gratifying thing um, that you can do. I, I have been involved since my son died 31 years ago with the Children's Cancer Fund. Yeah. Um, it, six years ago, I uh, retired from my job at the city of Albuquerque, and, um, and this job was available. And they do say, if you do what you love, you'll never work another day. I haven't worked in six years. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Yeah, it is. It's very, very uh, true. And, and it's just um, on a day to day basis, you know, it can be difficult. You, you've given me another idea. Um, just, I have another appointment at 9 30, but I want to call you back. Okay. I have a book called The Power of Giving. Uh huh that I want to put together with personal stories of people like you who've gone through an experience and give for very specific reasons. Like he was saying, I mean, my brother died of AIDS. So in my work, I feel like I'm giving to myself. Yes. There's something that happens when you put yourself out there and give. 
And the magic comes from the most unexpected places. Sometimes I look at what's happened to my project. I mean, I sponsor 580 kids. Wow. And I'm one person. But the minute I started giving, the magic just happens. It does, doesn't it? It really does. So I, I, I want to see if I can schedule another appointment with you. Sure. Four questions that I ask people for this Power of Giving series. And I'll email them to you. But one is, what changed your life when someone gave to you? What changed your life when you gave to someone else? Why is giving so important for the future of humanity? And why should anybody give towards your cause? I'll email them to you. And then let's schedule another time. Again, the same thing, 30 minutes that you can talk. Sure. And I'd love to add you to the series of books. It's going to be called The Power of Giving, and I'm doing them in different countries, different cities. I think that would be a really nice way for you and I to collaborate. And then what we will do when we um, publish the book is it again becomes a fundraising tool for you. Um, I, so as I, I teach people to self-publish. It costs about $3.80 to publish a book. Mm -hmm. and if I sell my book for $35, it prints for $3.80. Mm -hmm. So I want to see how I can help you with that. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Now, what is the name of your organization? Uh, so it's called Black Kiwi Publishing. I don't have a website. I just do this privately. Oh, okay. My website is coming up um, in a few weeks' time, so I'll send you a link, then you can see what I've done. But if you go onto YouTube, you will see the hundreds of authors that I've helped to self-publish. Um, so I'm a book writing coach. I mentor, I coach. And some of that information is on my personal website, which is getrudmache.com. So, Getrude, we have um, oh another thing to collaborate. We need to talk more. Um, we have a book being written. There was a young man, he died three years ago. He wanted so badly to write a book before he died. And we promised him, his mom and I, that we would write the book. She wrote the whole book. We kept looking for somebody to write it and just couldn't find the right I'm person. I'm a ghostwriter. Oh, wow. I said to her, I said, you need to write the book because you know the story. Yes. Like someone else knows it. She wrote the whole thing in Spanish. And so um, it was edited and then it goes through translation and, and we need to get it published. So yay. Here I am. <laughs> Here we are. Oh my God. And they've got the most amazing story. It will... Um, it will, I mean, this kid was, I mean, they're all amazing, but he was, he was one um, that was just like my son, and they were both born in September, in November, they both died in September, they had the same silly personality, great humor, uh, amazing, so uh, we need to okay. see. Okay, I'm going to schedule a time, I'll flick you okay. a couple of times this week. Okay. Let's do it. This is exciting. Thank you. It's exciting. And I'd like to contribute to your organization too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk a bit later. Let me catch up okay. with the next person. Thank okay. you so Thanks, much Jane. for the interview. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.